exciting week and weekends, pretty amazing. We got a chance to participate again in the Villain Arts Tattoo Show, tattoo competition that they go all over the nation. Obviously, it's a, it's a super honor to be invited to something like that. It, it meant the world to me that I even got an invite. That being said, this last convention was really awesome for me because I was able to bring the whole shop and we put tents up and lights up, all kind of shit up. It was a great time. It was great to market yourself along other artists. You got to meet a lot of new artists and see a lot of good talent. A lot of different types of vendors, just like all sorts of people. Uh, it's a good experience. I mean, you learn a lot. The entire experience itself was really cool. I was able to do a lot of designs and hopefully have a lot of returning clients. And I've seen some really impressive work walking around. It was really neat. So I think it's very important for people to get that experience in their career. And so I push for it. I do it all the time with as many people as I can. All right, quick little recap today. Did pretty awesome. Had everybody working and tattooing. What's up, guys? And got a lot of names out there. Got the Instagram spread. I got ink on my pants. Oh. Nah, but real talk, it's been a great weekend. Like, same thing Eric said, you know, just getting the name out there. Meeting a whole bunch of great artists, everything like that. You know? <laughs> oh, that Try not to say everything like that. Uh. <laughs> Red and black and gray style and everything like that and kind of a West Coast font. A lot of negative space inside. Just to kind of keep that balance and everything like that. And that was a first timer. And that was a really fun piece just because I am a lettering specialist. It's what I love doing, grew up doing and everything like that. Which was all of the kids' initials and everything like that as well as the parents. And you want to at least attach your arms before you get to your hands and the rest of your body and everything like that. Say it again. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Try not to say everything like that. And if you do, just keep going. All right. It's something I didn't actually understand what I was doing at the time and everything like that. But with a lot of dot work and everything like that, it's definitely great to do and everything like that. With a couple of her friends and everything like that. A circuit and everything like that. Tattoos and everything like that. The same track and everything like that. And everything like that. And everything like that. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in and everything like that. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? So here at Sharky's Paradise, I finally got to do my first anime piece. Thought that that was so awesome. I got to do the almighty Shenron from Dragon Ball Z on a man's forearm. And oh my god, I'll tell you this much, it's truly blessing to tattoo anime just because I grew up watching it as a kid. And now that the fact that I'm tattooing it on people and it's lasting for life, is just amazing. It was just so much fun just to get back to my roots and everything. in a restaurant together and he barely told me the sound. I'm like, bro, I could have served you a f***ing wrap with Wait, tomatoes in it and then just, that. and then him just died. And I would have been like the murderer to Christian. I could have died. <laughs> and then I did a C on the wrist. That's always a really cool thing because I'm a lettering specialist. Love doing letters. Been doing letters since I was about five years old. Learned how to write graffiti before I learned how to write regular script, which makes it really cool and really personal to me. So one of my favorite parts about lettering, especially script lettering and stuff like that, is a matter of having the matching angles, the thick down strokes with the thin up strokes, and then adding that negative space in between allows you to have the same line width throughout the entire piece. Just kind of keep that balance and everything like that. And that was a first timer, so it was great to get done. Drink. Also at the convention, I got to tattoo one of my flash pieces. It's really cool because it's a Polaroid picture of two skeletons hugging and it has the words till death on it. He wanted to do it on his ribs, so I gave him the idea of putting some additional pieces in there of tape so that way it looked like it was stuck on him. And then we added some shadowing in it as well, so it really had some depth to it. I had a lot of fun being able to tattoo my own flash. It really makes me feel good about what I'm doing and I'm really glad that everyone also loves what I'm doing. Yeah, I love your tattoos. They're really cool. Mmm, food. Mmm. Ah. Crack the bubble open. I can't open. Cut. Hey. Say hi, Devin. 
Hey, Devin. Wait, what? <laughs> Stone. So this week I did a cool handful of tattoos, a handful of tattoos. Um, we did a touch up on those finger tattoos I did not too long ago. My boy Nathan, he wanted to add more to what we had done already and kind of change some of the concepts around. Um, so on his middle finger he had a UFO and we decided to cut out the cow at the bottom of the UFO that was like floating up and we did a little like blacked out, flowery sort of geometric looking thing. And then we also added a crown on top of his heart that we had already done uh, with the colors for his wife and his son. And then we just kind of touched up the rest of it. That one was really fun. All right, so I did a whale on uh, these ribs. This girl came in and she was like, I'm, I'm, I'm 17, right? I want a neck tattoo and it's gonna be a butterfly. No. So what if we do something else instead? And I'll give it to you regardless. Uh, of course, her mother signed off on everything, but we were able to rework a different design. And it turns out she had this really nice, super simplistic little whale that she wanted on her ribs. It ended up being a better tattoo, I think. And it came out really beautiful, and I, I love it very much. That's awesome. I know. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Smile. <laughs> So we did a finisher sleeve, it was beautiful, lots of work, lots of color. She did great that day too. So it was pretty much two sessions. Yeah, we finished colors, we finished little details, we finished gray wash, everything pretty much. I could see some line work healed and I was pretty happy with it. She loved it. I can't wait to just do more sleeves. And thank you, Jennifer, for your support. This week, I work on Lindsay's um, forearm. So she said, I don't really know what I want, so make something up. <laughs> and I was obviously like super nervous, but I kind of like got a little bit of a design. And then we work it together. We put the flowers around her face. The flowers are two bird flowers for her twins and the bird flower for her husband. And yes, it turned out really nice, very nice colors. I love the little details on that. The lips are great. It was amazing. Lindsay is amazing. I love you, Lindsay. <laughs> Um, I did a ghost with boner on my husband. <laughs> um, just, I love getting the fun tattoos. You know, do something goofy for a change. It's nice to get a tattoo that's a little bit more offbeat and fun. It always just makes it, makes it that much more fun to do the tattoo. Chelsea, what do you got going on here? An ape smoking a, whatever doobie. you, a doobie. Whatever. And uh, I'm gonna do a little gray wash. Well, that's a mighty doobie. How does this make you feel, sir? Fucking great. That translates to fucking great. <laughs> This week we got to tattoo down at the Denver Villain Art Show, which was super fun. I did a mechanical breakthrough on a leg. Really fun piece, pretty straightforward. Had a lot of fun with it. Another tattoo I did this week was on my brother. He came into the shop for a piece. I gave him a piece for his birthday. We did a Viking ship sailing off with the bank Vasir top of it and uh, kind of gray washed it in and happy birthday big brother shout out to you uh, appreciate you letting me do a piece on you So as a permanent makeup artist, I have a lot of questions of people telling me, why should I get permanent makeup? Will it benefit me? The answer to this one really is everyone can benefit from permanent makeup. Even guys, like if you're losing hair, if you just want a little darkness between your eyes and you don't want to see the eyeliner, that's what the lash enhancement's for. What is permanent makeup? Well, permanent makeup, I had to go to schooling for cosmetology and you have to do another 132 hours of permanent makeup training. So with that being said, I offer micro 
undulating, which is just the hair strokes within the brows. I do powder brows, I do ombre brows. I also do eyeliner, all sorts of eyeliner. So winged eyeliner, thin eyeliner, lash enhancement, which is just behind the lashes. I also offer lip blushing, so that's permanent lipstick. I do blushing for the cheeks, concealer under the eyes, and I also tattoo freckles. This particular week, I was able to have Jesse, my man, come back for his sweet ass dragon cover up. Not a dragon. We were able to start the layout in the shop and we spent eight or 10 hours the first session on that. Thankful that I was able to get that started beforehand. Jesse came in on Friday and sat for two solid days, literally all day long. On Saturday night, I was the last guy literally tattooing in the whole place. So, shut the lights down on that one. But it was super worth it because Jesse came back the next day and he competed in a couple of competitions for me. And ultimately, we ended up walking away with a little bit of hardware. Third place for cover up was pretty cool. That was an awesome thing to, to, to walk away with some, some hardware from competition of any kind. And he sat like a stone, so can't wait to see that one finished up. For now, we really just want to try to capture some of the volume of our shop and the growth of our shop. It's, it's pretty amazing watching these young artists start from nothing and then grow into something. And so we've seen a lot of that growth in these last few months. And uh, I hope you guys appreciate it as much as we do because this is how these journeys start and this is how all superstars are born, one little step at a time. All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Looking forward to see plenty of new faces and old faces at the shop. Got a lot of cool stuff coming up in the next week, so I'm super excited to share that with you. Anybody who needs a tattoo, come on in. We got availability for bookings right now. Come and get tattooed by me if you love really good art. Check out my Instagram and everybody else in the shop. If you guys like this stuff and you want to see us continue, please help us to grow this channel. If people have comments or if they want to be able to make suggestions, please feel free to, to, to send us whatever messages you'd like. Uh, no hate mail. Well, maybe a little hate mail. I don't really care. Be sure to like. Be sure to like. Share. Subscribe. Subscribe. To what? To Sharky's Paradise. Sharky's Paradise. Ha, ha, ha.